This video will contain some spoilers for Thrawn Alliances, so turn back now if you haven't read it yet. I was excited about the introduction of Grand Admiral Thrawn into Star Wars Rebels because the Chiss have been one of my favorite species since Heir to the Empire, and even more so after the book Outbound Flight, where we really got a better look at their culture. Just like in Star Wars Legends, they live in the Unknown Regions, and kind of serve as protectors to the known galaxy, even if their priority is to protect themselves first and foremost. In The Last Jedi, when the Resistance kept talking about their friends from the Outer Rim, in the back of my mind I had this wild hope that the Chiss would come in and save the day. Of course that didn't happen, but since the species is popping up in more and more canon content, I thought it would be fun to speculate on what role they might play in future stories. The idea for this video actually came to me when the Thrawn comic adaptation finished because it provided us with a depiction of a Chiss warship. I fully admit that I'm probably about to read too much into that, but it seems to me that Lucasfilm has been very careful about visualizing new elements like that. For example, we still have no idea what a Starhawk looks like from the Aftermath trilogy. We don't know what the Old Republic era looks like, and we don't even know much about its history right now when compared to Legends. The reason behind that being we're very likely to get visual stories that involve those elements sooner or later, so Lucasfilm probably wants to be flexible on how it all looks until they have to define it. So when all of a sudden we see a Chiss warship, that tells me that Lucasfilm is ready to tell us what Chiss technology looks like. And if they're ready, that could mean that we've got more stories involving the Chiss coming down the line. On the other hand, it's possible Lucasfilm knows they're never going to have major stories about the Chiss, so it doesn't really matter what their ships look like. But I think the former is more likely, and I believe Thrawn Alliances is evidence for that. Thrawn Invader's story in the book involves an investigation into another species from the Unknown Regions called the Grisk. They are a warrior race that has been probing the galaxy since the Clone Wars. Thrawn believes that they are preparing to invade. And by the way, one of the reasons he comes to that conclusion is because they have made it increasingly difficult to reach and communicate with the area around the planet Batuu. And we all know that communications disruption can mean only one thing. Oh my god, C.O. Bibble was right. But even more disconcerting than the Grisk invasion is that they have allied themselves with the Chiss. Not all of the Chiss, but some defectors. Thrawn hints that his people's leadership was strained when he left, and he fears that a Chiss civil war is inevitable. So the stage is set for not only an invasion of the known galaxy, but an invasion helped by the Chiss. We don't know a ton about canon Chiss right now, but in Legends, their military leaders were all pretty similar to Thrawn. I think we are to believe that Thrawn is still especially gifted, but being attacked by a military whose leadership was even a little like him would be an uphill battle to say the least. We also learned of a new reason even a handful of Chiss could be a huge threat. Some of their children are Force-sensitive, and they are primarily used to navigate ships through the Unknown Regions thanks to their precognition. But we also see them used to anticipate their enemies' movements in battle. During a rescue operation, Stormtroopers use Chiss Force-sensitives to know when an attack is coming and from where, and as expected, they tear through their enemies without taking a single loss. And finally, we learn that the cloaking device Rook has in Star Wars Rebels is a Chiss design as well. So right now we're set up for an alliance between some disgruntled Chiss and the Grisk warriors who are not completely unlike the Yuuzhan Vong. They have at their disposal some talented tacticians, children who can anticipate their enemies, and advanced technology. Thrawn Alliance is definitely hints that an invasion is coming. The question now is, how will it play out? I do think the most likely scenario is that this story will continue in another Thrawn book. Timothy Zahn has said that he has ideas for a handful of Thrawn stories, so that all just makes sense. But the idea that they showed us what a Chiss warship looks like in the comics still makes me think we're going to get something visual involving the Chiss. It could be as simple as continuing the comic adaptations, or the Chiss could appear in Star Wars Resistance. I think that kind of makes sense as well. The last time we saw Thrawn was in Rebels, and since Dave Filoni used Rebels to answer some questions from the Clone Wars, it follows that he could use Resistance to answer questions from Rebels. I'll also mention that Batu, the setting for the Galaxy's Edge theme park, appears in Thrawn Alliances and is in close proximity to the Unknown Regions. Maybe we'll see some actors playing Chiss at the park. And while I'm speculating wildly, maybe we could actually see the Chiss help the Resistance in Episode 9. 
If that happened, I wouldn't expect their role to be too substantial. The Chiss Ascendancy probably wouldn't be mentioned, but slapping some blue paint and red contacts on a background actor would be an easy way to include them, I'm just saying. But what do you guys think of all this? Do you think we'll see more from the Chiss in the future? If so, what do you think we'll see and what do you hope we'll see? Let me know in the comments. If you want to watch more about Thrawn Alliances, you can check out this playlist here. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.